Hello my fellow warmongers, how is everyone doing on this fine day? It's Feral War here and welcome to another replay for Total War Warhammer. So I discovered something pretty cool actually, that the griffin, when it's standing still and you're pausing the game, will follow you around with his head, like he'll keep looking at you. But he's moving at the moment so he won't be looking, but other than that, it's pretty cool actually. So uh, I've been trying out some empire builds, especially against greenskins. I don't know, but I've always felt that they're a very good choice against greenskins. So um, let's go through the builds. For my line, I've got a front line of one swordsman, Sigmar sons, and two halberdiers on the flanks, two spearmen to cover the back, a great sword here, uh, s silver bullets, a uh, jade wizard, Boris Stalbringer, and of course a steam tank because of the terror and the greenskins don't really have like a lot of things to do against the steam tank because all their anti-large units are susceptible to terror. So if he rushes in with the orc boar boy beacons, I'll just attack him with the steam tank and throw down Boris on them. They'll run away immediately. Um, well, I think that's it for my build. It's quite a small army, but it, it works. It works really well once used. Uh, because also I suck with the empire, I suck big time, so I've been trying to get better at it. As for my opponent, he's got Major Marauders. Sorry, not this. This. He's got a Major Marauders, two Orc Boar Boy Biggins, three Black Orcs, which I felt like there's they're gonna be a big problem. But in the end, it went pretty well. Two Goblins, two Orc Biggins, the Warlord Boys. These are the ones with the Armor Sundering. Rusty Heirs, also Armor Sundering. Two goblin big bosses, one orc boss, and nasty skulker for the flash bomb to slow down anything that comes down and tries to snipe the lord. So, uh, in the beginning, I was standing like I thought he's, he was gonna like deploy here, but he deployed in the low area here, which gave me the better like position to take the high ground in the forest to just avoid any archer damage. If he has artillery, I just deployed in the forest. Also, not to have him guess what kind of army because most of my units as you can see are hidden 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 most of them are hidden which is great like that's good for me also the manger marauders if i'm hidden in the forest they won't be able to get a lot of damage in but i'll do a mistake and rush them with the demigriff knights thinking they're not on skirmish mode but unfortunately they are and actually the manger marauders with one volley can kill one demigriff knight so demigriff knights are only 18 in the model so like see we'll check it out here one one model died so if they like attacked like if, if they attack like a couple of times more if I left them attacking they would have killed like two or three other models which is a huge loss for the demigriff knights for my opponent he was walking like I don't know why he was walking that way so he gave me his uh, bl bl like bl works in a straight line so my steam tanks were was able to get a lot of damage on them I went in with the steam tank first so they can blob around it because I didn't really like um, See again like silver bullets doing a lot of damage. He's just giving me the black orcs. Went in with Boris Stalbringer as well to check if he has anything over here, which he does. I found the rusty heirs and the warlord boys and the nasty skulkers because they're all half stock and I couldn't see them. Uh, I didn't care mu much about the major marauders. I'm standing in the forest, so not a lot of damage was gonna get in on them. Uh, he's starting rushing me, but apparently he didn't rush me. He was just giving a move order, which gave me also a better, a good, a good thing to just get the charge damage from all my units even if it's a small damage like eight from the spearmen i think halberdiers yeah the halberdiers have eight which isn't a lot but okay so i thought okay i'll i'll get rid of this one just the steam tank attacking like look straight line it destroyed the goblins goblins terrified running away thank you so much goodbye goblins uh that's for this god because i i didn't really want them to like clung my line you know give the biggins opportunities to attack here exactly what I wanted. I wanted him to clump around around the steam tank. I was fine with that. Now, like, see, I'm giving attack orders and he's just standing right there. So I'm getting a lot of attack orders. Uh, he gave me his orc war boss standing right there, so I gave an order for the silver bullets to start attacking him. They're getting some good damage on him. Not the very good damage, but good enough that it'll hurt. I'll give him some damage and then attack, go in with more Stoutbringer. I have Deadly Onslaught on him. I Usually I get it because on the charge damage, he'll do a lot of damage when on the charge. Like, see? I'll cast it now because I wanted to attack from behind to get a better even attack. So right now, Boris Stoutbringer has a 502 damage. And let's check the 502 with 342 armor piercing. And this guy has 70, which is okay. But at the like he's 2,800 health. Okay, let's 
Let's do this. Now, Boar Stoutbringer attacking, Silver Bullets attacking. He lost 1200 health. He's breaking at the moment. Cast like, uh, I don't know what's it called. Um, what's it? Oh yeah, the Jade Wizard has only two spells on, Lifeblood and the one with the slow damage. I don't remember its name. Um, Awaken of the Wood, yeah, because it causes minus 48 speed. So in this case, his Lord is gonna get slowed while mine will not. And I can just attack him and follow him, but very smartly of my opponent. Really, I really like this move. He casts Smoke Bomb with the Nasty Skulkers just to halt my Lord from attacking because ne negative 76% speed. So he was gonna get away. I wanted to kill him to get that moral damage. So attack to the Steam Tank. Steam Tank killed him. Best thing ever. So uh, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. He's uh, he's still attacking me with the Manger Marauders from the back, attacking some Spearmen with Shield, which is actually not a very good target. He should attack the Negative Knight. Going in with the Old Boy Begins. I tried attacking him with the Halberd. They will get some good damage on him, but he'll then move and try to. Like on Boris here, went with Boris on the Orc Biggins here to get him terrified, which will happen in one second. Uh, other than that, Silver Bolts are still like, doing a lot of chaos. Like if I were him, I would have went like that way, just go that way and get rid of the Silver Bolts. They're doing a lot of damage, but it wasn't like he went, he got a rear charge on the Halberdiers, but with these guys following him, not a very good idea, man. So, uh, Boris Stalbringer still causing a lot of terror, attacking here, you know, doing his thing. Let's remove this. I didn't see this guy yet. I'll see him in a second and I'll go kill him. Rusty Airs. Do it. Guys, if you can get rid of the Rusty Airs, do it. Do not give them a chance to come back because if they come back, they have stock, so you won't be able to know un unless they're attacking you. Which is <laughs> so annoying and irritating, man. So annoying. Uh, these Black Orcs. They got taken care of, these black orcs as well. I think the third one is already routed. Or dead. One of yeah, I think so. They're the ones that the steam tank was attacking in the beginning. Oh yeah, there they are. There they are. They're gonna route like in a second. They have the great swords with six five models full like three quarters of the health. Which is great. I, I really wanted to get rid of the rusty airs, but he kept his orc boy boy begins on them. So I couldn't really drop down on them. So I was like, okay, I'll I'll go take care of your leadership then. His goblin big bosses, you know, like they're right there. I can just kill him, so why not? He's giving them to me. Uh, he should have moved in with his nasty skulkers like that way, so at least he can get some slow. But I, I don't think it's, it was gonna work anyway because Boar Saltbringer should have just like went through them, even if they cast a flash bomb. His terror would have kicked in, and still like a mass mass terror route like this would have happened. Uh, yeah, I found his Orgbor Bivigans. They left the rusty air, so I sent down the spearmen on him because I don't think he actually saw the spearmen before. So they're gonna catch some models there, which is good. I'll, I'll keep on them just for irritating because right now there's a lot of micro going on. So most probably he won't even notice that I'm trying to get them. So I just gave him an attack order and forgot about them. I f finally found this guy. So of course, attacking him with everything I got. Minji Marauders still trying to fire on the silver bullets, not doing much. Because they're, they're, they're already 68. So <sighs> finished this flank. This flank was winning, so I didn't think of like crashing down on them. I had Boris there doing his thing, so I thought, okay, I'll just keep Boris here. He can like, get rid of this flank. Got my Demigriff Knights going on the rusty areas. They've got nothing to defend them. Like even the Warlord boys and the Nasty Skulkers, they're gonna come in, but too little, too late. Terror will kick in, and then I'll just crash with these guys in the backs just to get that rear charge and, and the terror out here. Will I do that? I think I'm gonna change my mind and attack here. I think so. Come on. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Nope. Okay. Yep, there we go. No. Nope. I'm still like making up my mind. What am I gonna gonna charge there? Ah, oh, sucks, man. I should have noticed this. This was bad. Should have like just went to the back of those. Yep, there we go. I did it. Uh, other than that, Orb Biggins got caught right there. They're trying to get to the Silver Bullets. Silver Bullets got with 62 models until the end of the game. That's amazing. He's got a like a strong contingent there, but my army is like I didn't get a lot of losses at all. Smoke bomb, or Saltbringer again, so couldn't really do anything with him. Had to wait until the smoke bomb went away. We'll drop down on these guys with Boris Saltbringer. They're all gonna run away again. Rusty Airs came back attacking me. So annoying, so annoying. I should have gotten rid of them. Like just kept the Demigriff Knights on them and just kept running after them. This is how it should have done. Uh, other than that, uh, like only 20 seconds left. Well played to my opponent. He was, 
He was actually, he gave me a good game, like I enjoyed it a lot. The Manger Marauders weren't really a good choice, they didn't really do a lot, because there's a lot of forwards there that I use just to neglect their damage. And other than that, uh, well played to my opponent, I think his name is Mole Ready. Yep, that's his name. He's a good player, he, he played he played really well. Let's look at the stat page. So Boris Toddbringer, uh, just used him for the terror, you know, just having a strong, b to snipe the other boss. Which he did, which was actually fine with me. Silver bullets, champions, freaking bosses got rid of the leadership. These guys and th these guys and the orc war boss and the uh, where's the and the night goblin shaman. Silver bullets, amazing in that area, taking care of like lords, you know. I'm thinking of adding like um, uh, a light wizard. What do you guys think? Also, like, give me feedback. I think a light wizard here will benefit me quite well. But I'll need to get lit rid of one halberdier, which is not that good of idea. I don't know, I might get rid of like uh, a Spearman and get rid of Deadly Onslaught. That'll give me like the Light Wizard with only the net on him. Yeah, that might work, that might work. We'll try that. Uh, Steam Tank did its thing. Blob Dub units got Terror Routed. Terror Routed like the Goblins, you know. It's always good to get rid of the Goblins in the beginning. Because they're just there for fodder and breaking charges. So if you can just like Terror Route them, just drop down Cav on them. If you have anything that causes terror, just drop it down on them, attack with a couple of attacks, and they're gonna run away and then charge in with the units. That's the best, like, scenario you can do. Other than that, uh, thank thank you guys for watching, and I've got some new subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing. It really means a lot for your support. Again, uh, don't forget to hit the like button. I don't know, like, if you're watching this not subscribing, please do. I'll, I'll always be uploading new videos. Sorry for not uploading for the past week, but... I had a lot of work, I couldn't really do anything. Other than that, uh, thank you guys for watching. Please don't be shy to like, subscribe, and give me comment and feedback. All I want to do is get better and show you more videos. Alright guys, cheers and have a nice day. See ya.